It was once the world's largest slate mine and now Pendring Quarry is home to the Northern Hemisphere's longest zip wire. It starts more than a thousand feet up and offers views as far as the Isle of Man. The mile-long journey allows thrill-seekers to reach speeds between 85 and 105 miles an hour. This is the closest thing you'll do to uh, skydiving or flying. Uh, the last quarter of a mile you're going uphill, so you're coming in to, to land, if you like, at around 30, 35 miles per hour. We're using new technology from America to slow you down. But Sean Taylor insists the attraction is perfectly safe. Safety is critical to our business. If, we, if we're not working safely, we don't have a business. Uh, all the, uh, all the uh, equipment we use is the top equipment throughout uh, the, the world. Uh, we've tested this uh, with dummies. Uh, we used the finest wire from Germany. Um, so, you know, I'm very, very confident if it wasn't safe to the public, we wouldn't be opening. At its peak, Pendring Quarry employed 3,000 men. Now it's hoped the site can once again boost the local economy and visitors to Zip World will be given a brief history of the mine before they begin their flight across it. Clearly it's extremely important people that come to Wales have a, have a good sense of place and sense of the identity and the history of the area. Um, what Zip World are doing here are integrating the heritage, the, the rich heritage of the slate um, mining industry in North Wales with the adrenaline um, that people um, come to thrive on in these days. But of course the wind in this part of Snowdonia is as prominent as the slate and today... <laughs> Too windy, my in talk. It's too windy to go on the big zipper, but as you can see, I'm not getting away entirely scot-free because this zip wire, the little zipper, is still open, but even this one is uh, almost half a kilometre in length and I could still reach uh, speeds of up to 50 miles an hour. Hello, neighbours. Lindsay Wales today, somewhere above the Pendrin body.